Uh, it's Pat Picard here, still coming to you from a dark and lonely void where um, one never seems to get hungry or tired. Apropos of nothing, I'm going to share one of my favorite scenes from The Bloodhound where the eponymous character is described by JP as he's relating a dream. There was a creature in the dream. A sort of man, but something was wrong with his face. And he'd wrapped it in a shirt or something. I knew that underneath was the face of a dog and the face of a pig. And everywhere he went, he crawled. He wore a leather jacket and jeans. In the dream, I knew his name was the Bloodhound. And I knew he got around by using the rivers and sewers. He'd crawl into a house and hide in the closet. And the house would give him power and fill everyone with fear. And they'd be afraid until there was a tenderness between the people in the house. A real tenderness. An apology. Forgiveness. A real deal sort of thing. And then he'd move down the river and find a new house. It was just a bad dream. <laughs>